I'm Bonnie Saratori, Spirits Acceleration. I want to talk about energy cords cording into one another. All right. So I let I want to make it really clear. Cording is not something we want to be doing. It actually affects each, us. And there is one place where we cords are appropriate, and that is in the heart chakra. And cords with children, babies are appropriate until about five years old. Okay. People unknowingly are sending out cords to one another when they want something, okay? When they um, are feeling alone or, or feeling sad or, or just feeling like they want more energy, more power. So when people cord in, remember, it's coming from an emotional place. You don't necessarily understand or know that you are sending a cord to someone and People that are courting into you are not necessarily knowing or understanding their courting. Most people don't know they're sending cords, but here's how it works. Let's just say that I'm wanting to connect with my mom. Let's just say I'm worried about her and maybe she's been ill. And so I'm worried, concerned. So rather than calling her and just communicating with her, my worry and that emotional energy of concern and worry, I might be sending a cord out and I could cord right into her, maybe to her power center, maybe for a second chakra, but I'm, you know, looks like it's an energy coming out of me going in and hooking into someone else. Now, sometimes people want to hook into me because they want to know what I know, <laughs> you know, they want me to protect them, watch over them. Um, you know, some of them want my power, some of my gifts, my abilities. Some people just care and love and would love to just be connected. Those are all types to different ways in which we can send energy, energy cords to one another. And sometimes too, when we want to cause harm or we're undermining people, um, you know, we can send cords, we hook in. So what happens to the person that we're cording into or even ourselves is we are affected by that energy. Sometimes we literally are getting our energy drained, okay, energy is being leaking out, being pulled out. Um, sometimes too, when someone cords into us, us, we feel an emotion towards them, that's actually not the truth of what we're really feeling. I've had that many times where someone was attracted to me, and I would feel that energy, and I would be confused thinking it was my attraction towards them. And that's not what was up, okay, once the cords removed, oh, clarity. Oh, I'm not feeling that. Okay. So uh, we, you know, we're like, again, we cord back and forth. So the, the power center, oftentimes when people uh, cord into that, that has to do with our own power, you know, our abilities, that inner, inner powerful, inner strength, all that energy that we have. And then other people that don't feel as strong, or they feel the need to, they need more help, more, more uh, energy, more power, more strength. That's where they'll cord into. While the emotional stuff hooks into that first chakra, second chakra, sexual energy cording hooks into that second chakra. Um, Sometimes people, you know, they'll plug into the, the third eye. They just want to see, know what you see and know. They want to open up to theirs. Um, the, the throat, the communication, people don't speak their truth. So they're hooking in and courting into one another without clarity. So a lot of things are happening because we're not able or in, incapable of just really speaking and asking for our needs, you know, whatever that is that we want. So, you know, we all do this at some point and not everyone is able to communicate. And a lot of wounding keeps us from communication. So courting happens as a means of connection, communication, feeling connected, feeling bonded, getting our needs met, things of that nature. The problem is, is that it affects us. Okay, so we don't want to be courting into one another. We want our bodies free. We want to make sure no one is courting into us. So when we feel or sense that someone's courting or we're feeling like we are courting into someone, it's going to go both ways, okay? So basically, what you want to do is um, call forth, just ask for the presence, ask for the soul levels of whoever you're feeling that you're courting into or record is courting into you, okay? Call them in. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put the white flame between the two of you, the white flame energy frequency is the high level vibrational frequency of creation. And 
what we're going to do is we're going to intentionally release agreements and contracts that we have made with this person to allow them to court into us or us to court into them. We're done with the courting, okay? Courting in. So I intentionally am releasing, I'm pulling up agreements and contracts. I'm also asking at the soul level from them that they're also releasing agreements and contracts. So we're no longer courting into one another. Now, those agreements and contracts can look like things like uh, little templates, tablets, sparks of light, words, energy, frequencies, colors, doesn't matter. Have that intention, pull up, pull up those agreements and contracts that you have made, null and void, done, okay? Do it both ways so that now you are no longer willing to court in, you're no longer willing to allow anyone to court into you or allow this person to court into you. And then once you got those agreements and contracts into that white flame, then basically you're just going to be asking. Sometimes you can just put your hands. Let's just say I got one in the power. I'm just going to grab hold of that, start and they're just pulling it out and sending it right back. Okay. Doesn't matter where it is in the body. You're going to go ahead and just pull it out, send it back. And then also if you're the one courting, you're going to be pu pulling your cords back. So you have that intention. You're pulling back your own courting. You're pulling back your own energy. You can also think of five different things. Like when you think of the person, like if I use my mom, you know, she's got red hair. She has green eyes. You know, she has wears blue or green, loves that color, drives a Cadillac, whatever. So I'm thinking of five different things that also helps to separate our energy as I'm pulling my own energy back, back to my own self, back into my own body. Okay. So cords are easy to release. They're easy to, you know, to unravel. Um, you know, the thing is, is again, we don't want cording other than the healthy ones that are with our small children. And then also heart, heart connections are always, a, are always good. You know what I mean? Like loving someone, connecting to someone through the heart, that's okay. But basically cording, that's all paradigm. We don't need to be doing that anymore. OK, have fun with it. Play with it. It'll make you feel better. Make everybody else around you feel better as well. And you'll just feel your own sovereignty within your own self. OK, thank you for watching. Please like this video and visit us at spiritualacceleration.com.